Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. Today we're going to be working with these right here. These are dimensional shards. We need to infuse all the RF tools items, and then we're going to see about building that dragon dimlet. All right, let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to try and build that dimlet that we have been working on or working towards for so long. And we're going to see if we can actually build it. We may not be able to use it, but at least we can try and build it. So, since the last time we were together, I went into that dimensional shard orb world a little bit more. I found a few more of those little RF tools dungeons but I didn't find any more rarity six so we're going to try and get what we need with the three that we have so in here we've got a couple of machine frames we're going to need those for the infuser so there we go we've got the infuser and you know what we can vein miner that and we'll go down to our machine room right here so the reason we're doing the uh, this infusing is because uh, we're going to have a higher chance of getting all of the dimlet parts out of the rarity sixes that we have uh, from this dimlet workbench right here so what I'm gonna do is put one infuser right there and then we'll go into energy conduit we've got some right there okay and that should oh I'm almost at at the top of this level. All right, so we've got some, some energy building up. What we need to do is actually infuse the infuser. I think that's what we do. Can we do that? Okay. Yep, so there we go. This is essentially what I've got to do for every one of these machines. It's going to take four stacks of dimensional shards for this thing. Uh, what I'm just going to do, though, is infuse these two infusers so we'll get this one then i'll switch places and then we can have two machines infusing and i'll probably get a chest with some item conduits just taking a bunch of those dimensional shards into the machines but um, anyway let me get this fully infused and then uh, then we'll get that whole setup done well now i've got both of these infusers fully infused and I've got a chest right here with some item conduits from Indoor.io. We're extracting all the time and then inserting right into there. No filters or anything. We're just going to fill those things up. And what we need to do is find all of the machines that are going to be needing infusing. So that one you can tell, oh well I can't show you, you have to look up in the Wayla, up in the top center of the screen. It says infused 0%. So any machine that has that, we're going to grab, including that, Dimension Builder, uh, these two, yep, and yep. And then we'll see about over here, Matter Receiver, Matter Transmitter, and Dialing Device. All right, so we can throw these in. Uh, well, you have to place them, so you can't just shift click in, but here we go. And this is going to be the name of the game. I'm going to infuse all of these machines. We'll get them all back to 100% or up to 100%. And well, we'll go from there and re recreate the entire, uh, entire machine area here. Well, now we have the entire Dimension Lab, Dimlet Lab, and uh, teleportation area. We've got that fully infused. Look at that, 100%. Most of these is just a matter of reduced power consumption, but we get a few side benefits uh, for especially the dimlet research. So over here, if we want to recycle some dimlets, we can certainly try that. In fact, we may be able to take some, uh, some of these, what are they? Number fives, rarity fives, and we'll see about uh, recycling those and you've got a chance of getting a better quality 
our better rarity item out of that. So uh, what do we want to do? Um, oh, mob villagers. That'd be nice to put into an actual dimlet or a dimension. Wither two. Do that. Some of these we don't really care about. Damage boost three. We'll try that. I don't know whether that's something we would want or not, but if you go over here, you could do that and potentially get a better one, especially with 100% infused or a rarity zero. Lovely. Okay. Can this go in here? Nope. It has to go in this one. All right. That's fine. What we want to do, though, instead is grab these three. Okay. And then we want a mob type. Uh, let's go. Yeah, it was already sorted on type. So let's grab a mob type here because that's what you're going to you're going to have to have. None of our rarity sixes here are mob types. So let's do do we have any mobs? No, I think maybe I consolidated them into here. Yeah, there we go. Um, what's the worst one? Well, we've got 16 of creepers. How about that? We'll see if we can get what we need out of that. So what we got to do is take one of these and we will put it here and we'll go to extract and we'll see what we get out of here. We've got control circuit. That's what we need right there. Advanced energy module. Okay, so we need advanced for the higher tier. That's good. Advanced for memory. Liquid type. We're not going to use that. Base part. I think that goes there. So now let's put in the mob creeper. Okay, we should have a mob type controller there. Where does that go? Okay, the rarity six, right there. Um, energy is gonna go there. Advanced memory goes there, and then the essence goes right in there. So let's grab dragon essence. And finally, finally we're using this and there we go. We've got the Mob Dragon Dimlet. Okay, finally. So how about we take a little screenshot of that? Okay, so we got that. And that means... Oh, and I got an achievement. That means that we've now... We now may be able to... That's not too bad. A maintenance cost of... 10,000 RF a tick, we might be able to get by with this. So what we need to do is, um, let's see, we've got mob dragon. Let's put these away for now. Okay. And then we'll see if we can get a special efficiency. Yes, we certainly want that to reduce the overall requirements for the RF. Let's see if we can find... Uh, terrain void no material we just want terrain void we're gonna see what we can do with this uh, right off the bat okay throw that in there um, effect none no effect and then weather we'll do what's this 120 default is 50 R for tick this is 120 RF a tick. Let's just try this. So we've got effect none, weather, no rain, terrain void, special efficiency, mob dragon. Let us also get a tab here. And we'll see if we can actually build this thing. So we'll do that. Uh, effect none, weather, no rain, terrain void. And we'll do We'll call this dragon. So now I've actually created, well, we're up to three dimensions and I can already see the size of the world save file getting larger. If we ever want to get rid of any of these, what we can always do is uh, there are some commands that RF tools puts in for um, 
for safe deleting safely deleting dimensions maintenance cost eight wait this just doesn't seem seem right the creation cost is going to be 113,450 rf a tick maintenance cost is 8113 we might we might be able to go in there this episode so that means uh let me just get that thing fully fully charged up this is pretty exciting i did not realize that we might be able to do this i was thinking that we would need more power but that one is actually going to take less power than the dimensional shard ore so um i i was thinking we needed like a reactor or something but we're not going to do that what we are going to do is get rid of the Zavisio armor and put on the Wyvern armor for now. And we're going to go see what we can get into. We do need an Angel Ring because the Wyvern armor does not allow us creative flight. We can put this in the baubles there. Face field generator we need. Uh, ender pouches are good. Utility bag. Let's see. Soulbound. Soulbound. Not soulbound, but we can easily get back to that. That stuff is soulbound. Sleeping bag is not, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. I think, I think we might be good to go. Maybe, um, let's grab the angel block and some cobble just for grins and giggles. So, what I have done here with this dimension is I purposefully set a terrain of void with nothing, okay? So I don't know if the dragons will spawn just by themselves or or if they need an actual area to spawn in, but let's let's dial this thing. We've got green. Um so we will see if this actually works. Oh. I should have done feature none. So we may get into, um, hopefully, hopefully this spawns. Nope, nope, so I need to pull this thing apart. So let's head back. Um, yeah, yep, we're going to go back home. There's a couple other things that I need to put in here. Let's go to dialing device and interrupt. And we will pull this out of here. And this way you can see how this whole thing works. We still have the mob dragon. Let's grab feature none. Okay. And then also time maybe time uh, we want time night okay that's not going to be there how about in here night time midnight no we're not going to do effect night vision so let's throw these on here and we'll say dragon 2 8130 overall not too shabby and hopefully with the night um, and the uh, we should be able to get some spawns but we're gonna have no feature so no spawnable area except that little structure that we get when we first get into the dimension so let's let this thing fill up and uh, and then we'll start this whole process again all right our dragon 2 dimension is fully powered so we're going to try this again and we will see what we get ourselves into okay let's come away from that spot there and we'll see if we get some dragons in here. Hopefully we do. I hope we do. 
I wonder how long it takes for them to spawn, if at all. So we might have to wait a little bit, and if we don't see anything for for some time, I will have to go back to the drawing board. So let's just wait. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're at least getting the standard mob spawns, but we're not getting the dragon. So, um... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go... We're going to interrupt this thing. And, and maybe we'll put this back in here. We'll extract it. In addition to normal mob spawning, control what types of mobs can spawn. Hmm. Well... Let me do some additional research to see what I might be missing because we clearly were not getting any dragon spawning. So let me go look that up and I'll bring you back once I've got some more information. Well, I've done some reading and I've done some watching and I've found people that have tweaked their RF tools configs to not generate the void worlds. That's not cool. I'm trying to do this. Uh, quote unquote legitimately and with the way bacon donut has set this thing up so um, I'm not going to change the R tools configs instead what I'm going to do is I've pulled out the feature none dimlet and I'm going to throw in a feature tendrils that's going to give us a lot more uh, spawnable space so that might be what we're dealing with here if that's the case then maybe maybe just maybe we can come back in with a feature none and build our own platform. But who knows? Who knows? Um, the other thing is I've noticed that it doesn't seem to matter that this is nighttime. So I'm going to try a morning dimlet. Uh, or let's see. Is there anything here? There's time morning. How about here? N no time ones in there noon you know what i want noon instead so let's change that out morning noon and we'll call this dragon three third time's a charm hopefully and we will build this thing back up what are we up to it's still 8130 so that's not too shabby um and over here, you know, I don't know where these things should go. So maybe we'll just throw them in here and that will sort them all out. So we need to wait for this thing to be fully, fully built. If this doesn't work, I will have to go off camera for a little bit longer because I've run up against time for recording today. Um, it's not like it really matters because we are backlogging a bit, but um, I, I've been hoping to get this done. So we uh, we're almost there uh, by now also you should have seen on the channel uh, a new a new modded adventure with some hyper miners and guests dark fan and lapis and run wild and captain q all put together they were working on a mod pack called the hyper antics mod pack and at the time of recording, we have not yet started it up, but by the time you see this video, we should have had a few videos on it. Now, um, long term, it's going to take the place of Sky Factory 2.5. Um, that's just, you know, just the nature of the game. I can really only do one, one modded series at a time. So um, that's going to take the place of it for now. And while that server is up, this one will be on hiatus. So uh, we're trying to get through to automated awakened draconium, though. So we'll see if we get to that before I really start focusing on the hyper antics server. Okay, so 
We've got dragons. That's good. My goodness, that is loud. Can we get that? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We are going to turn down music and sound. Not, not master volume, just hostile creatures. Okay, so we'll make sure we get all of those. We're getting plenty of draconium dust as well. So the tendrils worked out great. So we should be getting multiple dragon hearts. So I'd been hoping to try and get automated hearts here. We'll go get another one, pick that guy up, okay. Let's see, so we've got plenty of dragons. Yep, there we go. And you know what, we probably, um, probably need to go and get us a good screenshot. What if we... No, that doesn't work so well. Oh, we, we can't really tell who... who is uh, low on the totem pole. Anyway, the that progress bar at the top is not quite uh, well it's, it's a little confusing let's pick that up got a few more of these guys around this is Visio dust and draconic this is great some of the draconic dust okay well I'm gonna I'm gonna be hanging around here for a little bit taking care of these guys so um, yeah I'll bring you back once we're back in the overworld well ladies and gentlemen I am back from that little adventure that we well I didn't expect to be able to do I thought I would have to create a better power source but apparently that was sufficient anyway let's take a look at what we've got we've got 62 dragon hearts or Ender Dragon Heads, a bunch more Draconium Ingots, plenty of Epic Shader Grab Bags and Yellow Hearts, got plenty of those. Anyway, so we've got a lot of these Dragon Hearts, and if we really need to, we can always go back in, but I'm going to interrupt, um, what's something, hmm, that should say, it's Dragon 3. Oh, it's not showing up here. That's really weird. Hmm. Well, um, yeah. Maybe I need to log out and log back in. That dimension may be... Um, well, it's it's got a bunch of stuff going on, something like five. I was I was tired of of getting them, but anyway, we've got plenty of plenty of dragon hearts that we can start playing with, and that is a good thing. So let's head back upstairs, and let's take a look at our to do list. Deep dark mining, we still need to get to. Let's use our our hand here enchanting level power generation yeah so these are new floors that we're going to add eventually and long term we're gonna keep this world around don't you worry we are going to keep this world around and we've got plenty still to do especially here in the achievement book but for now my attention is going to be going more to the hyper antics server so do do be watching for that anyway Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. It was uh, more productive than I figured it would be. And that's a, a good thing. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. 
But that's going to be it for now. And uh, let's see. We still have one more thing I want to do here in this world. So uh, that is the automatic awakened draconium. So uh, we're going to try and get to that. But we'll see with trying to work on, on two different modded worlds. But we're going to try and do that. And that'll be the next episode. So anyway, that's it for now. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.